guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're having a great friday and if you're checking it out for the first time world illuminator 11 and a warm welcome so today i'm going to start off by doing a card for everyone watching from your guardian angel to see what your guardian angel is saying to you on this friday and then also one card from the angel of light cards to see what the angels are saying to you um today and personally i am absolutely loving and i love working with angels i started working with the angels in the last few months when i started my spiritual journey and i just find it absolutely beautiful and magical and when when i joined when i was introduced to a channel guided by angels and started listening to the messages i just knew in my heart it was like this leap in my heart and sort of you know just this inner knowingness that i was going to you know, I had found sort of my soul tribe and working with angels was one of the things that I was going to do. So I do actually say to you, you know, call, call, get in touch. So speak to your guardian angel, speak to your guardian angel. They are right by your side every day. And, you know, it's it, it's so beautiful and magical to be to work with angels. And I'm really happy to be able to share a bit of that on my channel as well with other people so the first card that came out from your guardian angel is called eternity and it says gently move your awareness from the external world to a world of light within your heart allow each breath to heal you as you drift to a place beyond time eternity exists within you forever sparkling like a diamond you are in essence a shining star forever transforming to ever greater light. So this is a beautiful card, you know, your guardian angel reminding you that you are a shining star and reminding you to always to sort of switch off from the outside world and focus more on the inside because eternity exists within you. And, you know, and that includes sort of meditation as well, because that's the way that you tend to connect with yourself, to connect, to go within and be able to connect with that beauty and that shining star, that light that is within you. So absolutely great message from your guardian angel. And thank you, angels. What messages do you have for the everyone watching today from the angels and here is the card and it says cooperation and it says um, angel wisdom suggests that you use your skills and talents for the common good eliminate power struggles conflict and competition which come from an ego desire to win cooperation for the highest good promotes harmony and togetherness and draws the best for, from everyone Make it your aim that everyone has a sense of satisfaction from work done. Then you become a spreader of goodwill and harmony. Your angel guidance is to bring people together and explore how you can mutually assist each other. Your attitude of sharing will ensure that you benefit in your turn for the angels will bless your endeavors. And then the affirmation says, I cooperate with everyone. So this is also an absolutely beautiful message from the angels today. It's basically um, asking you to cooperate with people. Um, you know, it's it's all, we are all interconnected and it's just a reminder that, you know, it's about coming together with, with people, with your soul tribe, with your friends and your family and cooperating with people. And because that is what is important. Community is important and working for the higher, for the highest good. So the other thing I was going to do as well on this um, today is to talk about signs and synchronicities and just the signs and synchronicities that I've seen on my journey. Um, and, you know, just a few. I'm just going to talk about a few of them. And the reason why I decided to talk about signs and synchronicities today is because I went out to the park earlier and... Um, and I was thinking, um, so angels, what do I talk about today? And a dragonfly flew and came and landed um, by, um, you know, and landed right on a branch just by where I was. And I just knew that this was my sign, you know, to talk about signs and synchronicities on uh, the spiritual journey, on the twin flame journey. And um, and the reason why I, th I knew that was because the dragonfly was the very first sign that i saw uh, on my journey and i actually wrote a, a 
blog post about it, which I will put in uh, the description below. So if anyone wants to have a uh, to, to have a quick read of it, please do. And it's it basically it talks about my encounters with drug with dragonflies, which happened. Um, towards the end of last year and then my spiritual journey started in January and a, a, a dragonfly is basically um, about change it's it's it, you know when you come across drug dragonflies it's showing you that change is coming and you're going to start and for me it was a change to start understanding life life from a deeper level uh, the deeper meaning of life basically and um and it was only a few months later when i started looking back that i realized that that is what the those there were two encounters with the dragonflies I'll, I'll quickly go through it but you can read about it in the post and i had gone back i was i was on my way back to zimbabwe which is where i'm from and I stopped over in Zambia and that was when, I, when a swarm of dragonflies came and were hovering outside my window or, or, on the plane because we had stopped there and waiting for other people to get on to the flight. And I didn't know what they were and, you know, but then the next day and I, I had to ask other people what it was and someone told me. And the next day when I was back, when I was home and I hadn't been home for 10 years and I was home with my family, we were looking at this fish with this pond that my brother had and the dragonfly flew and it just started hovering sort of you know above the the pond right sort of where I was and I asked my brother what it was and he said it was a dragonfly and you know I didn't take notice of it then and then it was only months later when I started my after I started my spiritual journey in January and looks back and I was like so that's what that was about. It was basically the universe um, letting me know that my life was about to change. I was about to get go on to my spiritual journey. And so, you know, and since then I've started working with angels and, um, and it's, it's just beautiful that, you know, this happened. And then today I saw the dragonfly, which is why I thought I would just talk about some of the signs and synchronicities that I've seen on my, um, twin flame and, and spiritual journey. So the first one was a dragonfly for me. And then today as well. So after the dragonfly landed, um, a butterfly came by and and I thought oh my gosh how amazing is this and uh, butterflies are also um what, you know some of the signs that I've seen on my journey and a butterfly basically means that um transformation is occurring and you know because the butterfly goes through quite a big sort of transformation um or on you know for for itself as well and it's it's basically showing the rebirth process you know um for that you're going through a rebirth on your journey and um and but also if you're on a twin flame journey if you do start seeing butterflies you know let's say you've gone through your awakening and it it, it would also be a sign that your divine counterpart is also going through an awakening and um and i have this summer you know this summer i've literally seen more butterflies than i've ever seen I think in my whole life and it's, it's been beautiful. It's been amazing. Um, I mean, obviously the, you know, a lot of the insects and animals and, you know, they all came out with lockdown, but it's, it's just been the times that I've seen them and the way I've seen them, it's been very significant for me. And I just knew that it all related to my journey. And, um, there was actually a time when I would walk out of the flat or go somewhere and they'd be, two butterflies both at the same time two similar butterflies always it happened probably about 10 times two similar butterflies i would just see and and i just call them my twin butterflies and i just knew you know you just know within yourself you, this is where your intuition comes in you know that it relates to your journey so I've seen quite a lot of butterflies. So I wanted to mention those as well. And I went on a retreat a few days, uh, uh, not last weekend, the weekend before, and in in Devon. And you would never believe the amount of butterflies that I, I that were there. I actually took a video, and there was just butterflies everywhere. Sort of when I went for a walk, it was beautiful. So butterflies are also um, some that um, you know signs that you see for transformation on your twin flame journey or just on your spiritual journey and then swans these are the other um, um, signs that I've seen on my journey I've seen swans quite a lot and it's always been two 
swans, the male and the female, sort of, you know, gliding beautifully, gracefully um, on, you know, on, on the lake. And as uh, swans are a sign of love and a sign of commitment and a sign of, um, yeah, just grace and, and beauty, basically. So you tend to see swans as well, and they are a sign on the twin flame journey. And um, and then the stag, the stag stands for union. And, I, you know, you tend to see the stag. So it's mostly the stag horns and they are a, a sign of union, that union is coming. And you tend to see these. I've seen stags on, um, you know, I've seen stags even on um films and you know on social media you will see you will tend to see with these signs you tend to see them everywhere it doesn't mean that you know they will just be on your um you know you actually see them in real life you can see them on social media on a picture or wherever it is that you see them so stags are a sign of union and then um seagulls i've seen seagulls quite a lot as well even in here in you know in london where i'm not by the sea i have seen seagulls and they're a sign of freedom well, you know when you start your spiritual journey and you're starting to become free then um you tend to see seagulls as well or i have anyway and then bees are a sign of communication of your on your twin flame journey and i've seen loads of bees you know i've had bees even come in sort of just enter into the flat from nowhere and you know the bee sort of comes and lands on you and you know and it's a bit like where did this come from so bees are a sign of communication as are spiders i've recently started seeing spiders i never used to see spiders that much but i've recently started seeing spiders quite a lot there was one in the bath there was one in the toilet there was one in the kitchen the other day and i'm like i never used to see spiders that much but i am seeing spiders but uh I also understand that they are a sign of communication and then um and then you also get loads of other signs like you know in numbers like for me um there's been 11 11 is quite a big one um and then also signs like that other numbers the, the main ones for me are 444 444 and because they relate to angels so i tend to see those quite a lot whether i see them you know online and when i received on the tv you know i tend to see those quite a lot and then 33 relates to ascended masters and i tend to see that a lot as well so you know and um and then 555 relates to changes if you're about to go through changes in your life it can be just 55 or 555 so you tend to see that as well and and then there are the signs that you see that are so sort of specific to you you know and i've seen you you can see somebody who looks just like your divine counterpart and you'll be pretty surprised or you see their name everywhere and or you tend to see like i went past a pub that was called union you start seeing all these things that relate to the journey but you know and it's it's just the um the universe or the angels sending you messages for you to trust your journey and um so yeah i just wanted to share those few things and not make this video too long and just to say i hope you have a great weekend guys and keep your eyes out for your signs and um you know because i find it absolutely great when i see signs it just makes my heart leap and and i'm always thanking the angels you know and always having that gratitude for, for that sort of you know it's, it's like encouragement to stay or positive on your journey and and i think it's absolutely beautiful so have a great weekend guys and um see you on monday and look forward to seeing you then and love peace positivity and light